we want to supplement conservatively and intelligently, if we're on a vegan diet or even a near vegan diet, we want to make sure we're getting enough vitamin D and B12 and DHA, right? And make sure your iodine and zinc is adequate as you age. We want to make sure. But we certainly don't want to take supplements that cause cancer. We want to make sure we supplement conservatively and intelligently. Because too many vegan promoting gurus take dramatic and irresponsible risks with people's brains and with their health. Because an unsupplemented vegan diet, when you're not taking DHA, leaves about two-thirds of vegans DHA deficient in the long term, increasing the risk of major depression in vegans who are not supplementing. People die and commit suicide from major depression. Teenagers die of major, you know, junk food, commercial baked goods, and fast food increase risk of depression. But so does DHA deficiencies, which happen in, in more than half of vegans can develop marginally in DHA deficiencies. And a shrinkage of the brain occurs, increasing risk of dementia from DHA deficiencies that occur in a certain percentage of vegans that are not supplemented. Very, very critical. We have to be careful not to supplement with certain nutrients that can cause, that can cause cancer for sure. Vitamin A, like acetylpalmitate and retinal palmitate, are the most dangerous things to supplement with. You shouldn't be taking vitamin A and folic acid, of course. And a nutritarian diet is designed to include these foods that I want you to eat each day, right? Like berries, pomegranates, cherries, and flax seeds, chia seeds, raw sky and onion. We want to make sure you're not deficient in those nutrients either, right? In a vegan diet, don't forget, flax seeds and walnuts contain the omega-3 fatty acids that your body can convert into DEPA and DHA, but some people genetically, the, about half of people, don't have enough conversion of ALA into EPA and DHA for optimal levels of the brain with aging. So it's very careful when, when you're on a vegan diet, it's very important to take a small amount of vegan DHA or to have your levels checked to make sure you're not one of those people who don't have enough enzymes to make enough. Some people, a third of vegans, do make enough. If you're not going to take the supplement, don't be irresponsible. At least get a blood test to check that your level of DHA is adequate. You follow what I'm saying? We're not taking chances with people's lives and with their brains and well-being. So many people use their vegan bias and their, uh, and their you know, enthusiasm to promote a vegan diet to make believe that the diet is perfect for everybody. And it's not. It gets some people in trouble. And my 30 years of practicing, people develop problems. And having to fix those problems is critically important and being ignored by a huge portion of the vegan community. And the studies show, we did a study on 166 vegans, showing that the majority of them were DHA insufficient. 